We're now going to do a, a hip. Uh, the shingles, when it comes to the hip line, are just cut off flush with the line of the hip. And they can be nailed flush because our uh, hip cap is going to be covering up this area. Uh, this is a piece that I have left over from, from doing one of the side pieces here. Um, so if I hook it on here, I can get my mark here and this top line. This corner is missing, but uh, our cap was three and a half inches either side, so there's still no problem as far as water being driven up in that area. Nail on, keep it fairly high to the ridge. Now, just uh, assuming I'm all the way up there, I'll just show how the hip cap is on and how I treat the bottom corner of it. Uh, there's two types of hip cap. This is the most common. Uh, it'll come in a 10 foot length, and this is actually the same as a ridge cap, uh, usually, just the different will be in the bend of it. So we can lay that over the hip. Uh, this is my point down here for the center line. <coughs> what I'm doing here is marking a line horizontal with the edge of the starter going both ways. going to be end line for me. I'm going to cut here. Now I'm going to cut this, uh, this will continue those marks across here. I'm going to make another cut line which is going to be about 5 eighths, half 5 eighths longer. out in the corners here so that when they fold around they won't overlap. And now I can just use my bar folder here to uh, put the fold down. And then I will screw it uh, with a screw gun and uh, screws approximately every two feet as with a ridge cap. screwed up. So that's 
very similar as to the ridge cap that uh, we done in the earlier video.